Thank you so much for joining me in this daily devotion. We're turning to the Old Testament today, looking in the book of 2 Chronicles, specifically chapter 15, verses 1 to 15. The Spirit of God came upon Azariah son of Oded. He went out to meet Asa and said to him, Hear me, Asa, and all Judah and Benjamin, the Lord is with you while you are with him. If you seek him, he will be found by you. But if you abandon him, he will abandon you. For a long time Israel was without the true God and without a teaching priest and without law. But when in their distress they turned to the Lord, the God of Israel, and sought him, He was found by them. In those times it was not safe for anyone to go or to come, for great disturbances afflicted all the inhabitants of the land. They were broken in pieces, nation against nation and city against city, for God troubled them with every sort of distress. But you, take courage. Do not let your hands be weak, for your work shall be rewarded." When Asa heard these words, the prophecy of Azariah, son of Oded, he took courage and put away the abominable idols from all the land of Judah and Benjamin and from the towns that he had taken in the hill country of Ephraim. He repaired the altar of the Lord that was in front of the vestibule of the house of the Lord. He gathered all Judah and Benjamin and those from Ephraim, Manasseh, and Simeon who were residing as aliens with them. For great numbers had deserted to him from Israel when they saw that the Lord his God was with them. They were gathered at Jerusalem in the third month of the fifteenth year of the reign of Asa. They sacrificed to the Lord on that day from the booty they had brought, seven hundred oxen and seven thousand sheep. They entered into a covenant to seek the Lord, the God of their ancestors, with all their heart and with all their soul. Whoever would not seek the Lord, the God of Israel, should be put to death whether young or old, man or woman. They took an oath to the Lord with a loud voice and with shouting and with trumpets and with horns. All Judah rejoiced over the oath, for they had sworn with all their heart, and they sought him with their whole desire, and he was found by them, and the Lord gave them rest all around. I wonder what jumped out at you when I was reading that. For me, the idea that when they searched for the Lord, they found him and they were found by him. That's a pretty powerful thing, isn't it? It's awfully easy for us in our regular lives to not search for the Lord. We can go about our daily lives. We can even go to church regularly or listen to these sorts of things regularly. We can be engaged in religious organizations and religious endeavors. But are we searching for the Lord? Are we spending time each day trying to see what God is doing in our lives? Are we looking around at the world around us and recognizing the beauty of God's creation? Are we looking in the faces of the people around us and seeing that they too are God's children? I love this idea of an entire nation searching for the Lord. Now, in the words here, it's very interesting that they made it pretty intense if you didn't choose to search for the Lord, that you were to be put to death. I don't know exactly what I think about that. I'm not the biggest fan of capital punishment. I don't think that that would exactly work for us today. But before we step away from that, think about how much better a country or even an organization works when everybody has the same goals. When everybody has a common theme or a common strategy, doesn't that work better? Isn't it when we are divided that is more difficult for us to accomplish anything? And in the words of this scripture, it's held sort of in contrast with the time before where they were broken off in pieces, nation against nation, city against city. This is returning to a pursuit of God after a time of not following God and seeing how that impacted, how that let people become divided. Now, I don't want to suggest the pursuit of God is the only thing that prevents countries from being divided. 
But when I look around, I do see an awful lot of division. It might not be where you live, but certainly in Canada where I am and in North America, there is so much division. And I think part of the reason is that people don't have a common goal. They don't share a common vision. One possible common vision can be seeking God. Now, I'm not sure what exactly that looks like to you, but for me, that's spending time in prayer, making sure that I'm connecting my heart and my soul with the creator of my being. It's being thankful and grateful when I look around at the world. And when I think of all of the resources that I have available to me, the skills and talents that I possess, even the very breath in my body, I'm thankful. I'm grateful for all that God has given me. And I see God and I look for God in it. And then the third piece is finding God in the people around me. Not just the folks where I want to find God, but recognizing that the people I disagree with, the people who have a totally different mindset or people I've never met, they too are children of God. And I try to work hard to find God in them. I know it does great, wonderful things for my own view of the world when I look for God. So let's do that. Let's look for God in the world around us, in all those ways that I've mentioned, and I'm sure you have many other ways that you look for God. If you would like to share them, I would love to hear. Perhaps you could put them in the comments below. Let's gather in prayer. Creative and unifying God, we once again commit ourselves to search for you, to hunt for you to show up in our lives. We know that you are always present, always active, always creating in our lives, and it's up to us to look for you. The times that we don't find you, it's not because you're not there, it's because we've quit looking. So God, we commit to once again look for you, to find you in the big events and in the tiny moments, to find you in the people we love and the people we've never met, to find you in the things that come easily to us and also in the challenges. God, we pursue you. And when we find you, we are so grateful, so thankful for your grace and your mercy. Thank you. Amen. Thank you again for joining me here today. It's such a blessing that we get to do this each day to gather, to read scripture, and to pray together. If this is your first time or you're new here, I invite you to watch that one. That's a previous one we've uploaded. Or if you click over there, you can watch the whole playlist of all of these daily devotionals. I love you all. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.